Welcome back to Make Up A Love Story and I just filmed a video all about the nine brands that I want to try in 2019 and so this video is going to be the nine brands I think you should try in 2019. So sit down, buckle up and get ready because I'm going to give you some suggestions right now. Um, Samantha March, of course, filmed her tag video about the nine brands that she wanted to try in 2019 because it was a video follow-up from her 20 number or eight brands that she wanted to try in 2018 and so she kind of jokes about how she wasn't very successful at her mission of trying these brands but she is of course doing a tag video on the nine brands that she wants to try in 2019 and then she did a follow-up to that subsequently which is the nine brands that she felt like her viewers should try in 2019 so i'm also going to try to give you some suggestions on things that i think that you might want to try in 2019. i hope that you're having a great weekend this is kind of my wrap up to my Saturday. I'm going to take my makeup off shortly and just kind of have a peanut butter sandwich because nobody's home but me. And then I'm going to maybe watch some TV and enjoy the rest of my evening. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to leave my Instagram and my Twitter on the screen so you can follow me. And then just make sure that you share my love story with others because what's life without makeup and a love story leave in the comments some things that you think other people should try in 2019 so let's get started number one so i always talk about my skincare line and that is the ordinary and so one of the things that i think that you should try in 2019 is the ordinary the way that i order the products from the ordinary I go and I make sure that I order from Desium. It's easier for me to order from Desium because you get $25 worth of product, then you're going to get free shipping. And so I usually just see what I'm low on and go ahead and order those products. The one product that I would suggest that everybody start out with if you're not sure about the company and you don't really know if you're going to even like it, is get the Natural Moisturizing Factors, which is their moisturizer and just test it see if you like it it is a very reasonably priced product and that way you find out if you're going to if your skin's going to do well with it and then that way you're not out very much money and you've tested the product that's kind of a suggestion that i have for you in 2019. the ordinary is you know a great line for me it's been really good to my skin so it's just one of the suggestions I have for 2019. If you've not tried The Ordinary, I would recommend it. So I've been waiting on this palette for almost three weeks. Actually, I think it was finally three weeks when I got it. But as soon as this dropped, which is the Zodiac palette, and as soon as this dropped, I knew that I had to have it. And this is the, the Love Signs. It's the new BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. And so I think that if you haven't tried BH Cosmetics, it does have a large mirror in here. I think that if you haven't tried BH Cosmetics, you should definitely give them a try. I wasn't sure if I was going to love the Baked Shadow formula in this palette. I am wearing it on my eyes today. This is blended out beautifully. This is a gorgeous palette. I teased some of just the swatches on my Instagram. The pigment in this palette is gorgeous. Everything that I have purchased really from BH Cosmetics has been really good except for one of their earliest palettes and that was, you know, I'm sure, you know, everybody has moments. I haven't um, swatched the highlighter, but all the shadows have swatched really well. Some of them were a little bit chalky, the lighter shades, but other than that, they have been beautiful. So I definitely would recommend if you haven't tried BH Cosmetics, you test them out. They also have brush sets that are very reasonable and their brushes are really good. I use their powder brush on my face every day and I have other powder brushes. I have a Sephora powder brush. I have um, a Luxie brush. I have different powder brushes, but I always go back to my BH Cosmetics powder brush because it just puts the powder in the places the right way. There are stores that have brands of makeup, <laughs> namely Ulta and Sephora. 
And so far, the things that I have purchased that are the Sephora name brand or the Ulta name brand have, well, so far, the things that I have purchased, I'm going to start with the Sephora name brand. I think that you should test out Sephora products. I saw this, um, and I don't know if I was scrolling through Poshmark. I did order this from Sephora. I was going to actually buy one of these from Poshmark because the person had listed it as new. This has a giant mirror, so I'm going to flip this over. And I also watched a couple YouTubers talk about this some beauty influencers the only shade in there that I'm not crazy about is this peach one it does not it doesn't swatch well it doesn't um, I'm sure it's not going to perform well it is very um, displeasing um, I heard that if you wet your brush and pack 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 it on it really works well this pro palette is expensive I got a 20% off and that's the only reason I went ahead and purchased it Actually, I think I got a $20 off or something like that. So that's the reason I went ahead and purchased it. It is unbelievable how gorgeous this palette is. And it, I mean, the pigment in the very soft um, simmer, shimmery shades, gorgeous on the lids. So I would recommend that you test this out. The Sephora brand. I've tried their lipsticks. And I've been impressed. I have tried a lot of things. I've had eyeliners from Sephora. And I really like their brand. Ulta also has a store brand. I've liked some of their brushes. Um, their concealer I used for a while. Um, I've used a blush. I loved one of their blushes. They discontinued the color that I liked. But they've had various things that I liked. A lot of their products are hit and miss with the Ulta brand but they do collabs with beauty influencers. So if I were you, I would just test them out. I didn't like their brush cleaner, um, their solid cleanser, but there are different things that you can go in. I love their hand soap. So I would recommend that you try the store brands to see what beauty gems. Their face primer, I really like one of their face primers. I have a setting mist of theirs that I really like. So there are hidden gems in each one of those store brands. And it, some of them, with especially with Ulta, you can do buy two, get one freeze. Now, with the Sephora Pro Palette, you're not going to get much of a discount there ever, except for the 20% off. And actually, I think I had a $20 off or $25 off or something like that. So that was really nice. Um, ABH, um, you know, I think if you haven't tried her shadow formula, then you're missing out. I think that you should. I think that... I was really glad that I picked up the Sultry palette. It's been one of my favorites this year. So if you haven't tested this out and you haven't tried the um, ABH formula, then I think that you should. Um, I think it's been very blendable. I think it's been a very nice palette to work with. I have no complaints. And so that's a brand that I would recommend that you check out in 2019. So I would definitely recommend that one. Another affordable brand that I think that you should check out would be Makeup Revolution. Um, I have been loving this foundation. I haven't worn it very much. I've worn it in maybe one or two videos since I've been back on the double wear, but the Conceal and Define um, foundation, this stuff is really good. It covers well, blends out well. This is great foundation. So I would recommend that you pick this up and test this out. Um, another brand, I don't have any, oh, I do have it. I have all my favorites like right here. I have a blush in here too by then that I really like, but the Jouer Citrine Highlighter, it's blinding. This highlighter is one of my favorite highlighters. You can see what a dent I've put in it. Um, I love ordering from their website, but now you can order it from Sephora as well. But Jouer is a beautiful, beautiful company. They, I don't like their foundation. I sent it back. It, their shade was off. The way it wore on my skin was terrible. So that is not something that I enjoy. But other people love it. I do want to try their concealer. But I did not like the foundation. But I would recommend that you try the brand and see what you like. They have great li liquid lipstick formulas. So Jouer is one that I would recommend. Um, Ofra Cosmetics. I recently got into Ofra and 
one of the products that was kind of a miss for me was the the uh, toasted face palette um, at Christmas only because the highlighter was really the only thing working with my skin tone but I may give that another shot just to see if I can make it work a little bit more I've tried but I may give it one more shot I am just only using the highlighter and the palette but their liquid lipsticks and their highlighters that I've been trying oh my goodness like I have on Havana nights today I actually applied this hours ago and haven't reapplied this is how good their lipstick is it is that good I love okra uh, okra I love okra <laughs> I love Ofra lip, liquid lipsticks they're so good and I just can't tell you I, this is a great fall color great winter color you know this is one of those colors that you need and this time of year um, this is Havana Nights I think I said that already but if I didn't I'm saying it again then the last brand that I'm gonna recommend and I'm not pulling out my palettes I've shown them enough but is bougie and I'm only recommending it because I have to include that I tried it this year and I'm in love with them it's Pat McGrath if you want to try something a little more expensive and a little more luxurious I suggest that in 2019 you test out a Pat McGrath palette whether it's the full-on mothership or one of her smaller more condensed palettes that are more reasonable right now she's having a VIP sale and so I don't know how long that's gonna be going on but she has 25% off so of course I'm not sponsored nor affiliated and so I just know because she sends me emails because she's like oh come buy some more stuff for me <laughs> but it is her formula is crazy and it's beautiful and it's insane and I love it her lipsticks I love um, people you know I would be the first to say something's drying and I don't think that they're drying at all I have just been blown away with how much love I have for this brand and so however it is expensive and it's a luxury brand and I wouldn't recommend that just anybody go out and purchase it so in 2019 if you do want to try a luxury item Pat McGrath would be one that I would say hey I put my stamp of approval on it it's gonna be good if it's probably coming from Pat McGrath I don't know anything about her lip balms but her lipsticks her lip liners and her palettes so far so great <laughs> so those are some of the things that I think that you might enjoy checking out in 2019 and so um yeah I think I gave you nine I had trouble counting in the last video but you know um, I'm not getting paid math rates to do this video or anything so that's good but I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend leave me some comments about what you want to try what you're gonna try and what you thought about the video and um, share me with friends family makeup lovers around the world and until next time